for the purposes of this video, we will be looking at route planners and seeing how to uh, structure that journey and deciding where to stop, uh, what makes most sense. I'll look at a few of the route planners that you have available. So uh, PlugShare, uh, a better route planner is one a lot of people uh, swear by, don't typically use it myself. And uh, the Chevy apps, Energy Assist, which uh, has significant drawbacks, let's say, but we'll look at each of these as well as Google Maps and some of the, the strategies that you can adopt to uh, prepare for a longer road trip in the winter. And uh, that's what we're looking at today. So let's dive in. So here we are, winter time, got snow falling, got temperatures plummeting beneath uh, freezing. Some people that's uh, just a mild winter, others that's crazy to even think of snow on the ground. So it depends where you are as to uh, what value you take from winter road trip planning. But um, we are headed on a road trip this weekend for the holidays. We'll be headed from here in Boston to Cleveland, Ohio. And that uh, is for our, you know, semi-regular trip. We've done it a few times. Some of the videos covered us going across New York state uh the ny throughway others have covered us going back through pennsylvania not having such a great time but that uh, that is how it goes sometimes when you're on the early side of technology um so this trip is uh broken usually into two parts so we're going to look at the route planners um we'll actually take it from here in boston massachusetts to a town just outside of rochester in upstate new york it's called fairport new york and that's a model EV community, which we'll look at in uh, a future video when we stop. Of, uh, mostly interstate driving, so we'll have winter conditions, frozen temperatures, uh, high speeds, all the things that uh, don't necessarily gel well with the Bolt EV. But uh, let's take this opportunity to have a look at the uh, route planning. Uh, anything that's above 300 miles will require some kind of uh, extended charge or some kind of uh, strategy to stop and uh, charge the vehicle. I don't want to overthink it too much. There's many ways you can simply, you know, look at uh, a map, take a quick look at the stops you need and get on your way. But uh, let's, you know, for the sake of, uh, you know, people who are new to electric vehicles, let's look at the types of route planners you have, how to use them and the strengths of win and weaknesses of each. Okay, so pretty low tech setup here, but let's uh, see how it goes. <clears throat> Starting with Google Maps, obviously, you set your distance, you understand how far you have to go, and then you start to look at, uh, much like anything else, you know, where would you stop for a restaurant, where would you stop for, you know, maybe your fuel, um, places to visit along the route, that kind of thing. We are looking to stop in Albany because we have uh, relatives or uh, some of our family will be there. And that's where we want to uh, stop to have lunch. So if we leave on a Saturday morning, that's a pretty good place to stop for lunch and stop for rest breaks, everything else. So that's uh, 175 miles. If you go a steady 70 miles an hour, um, we're expecting, we usually bank on 200 miles uh, from a first leg in the summer. And uh, this first leg here to Albany is about 170 miles. So we should be within that. We've done it in the uh, summer months, in the slightly warmer temperatures. But obviously in the winter, you start to see a decreased range. Uh, we're seeing closer to 190 on a full charge at the moment. So the first one to look at is a better route planner. That's a better route planner .com. Starts here in Scandinavia for reasons. Presumably that's where the team come from. So about a route planner, um, it gives you the option to put your model in. So we will go Chevrolet, Bolt TV, 2017 to 2019. Interesting that they have the option for the 2020 there with its increased range. Um, not that we know anything about that at the moment, how much it will do in real world, but uh, good to know they're planning that. Uh, reference Airport, Airport, New York. So, it sets out the distance, starts to figure out its route, and this already is ahead of uh, the Chevrolet app because it knows that uh, these um, new Electrify America sites are in. It's giving us, I can see under here, it's Waterloo, Herkimer, 
and Albany. All of those are online as of the last uh, probably four or five months. So the Chevrolet app did not know they existed. It couldn't find a route here between Albany after the uh, last EV Go charges and Rochester. Uh, within the My Chevy app, you have this energy assist function, which should help you plan your route. I would do it via the touch screen, but it's too laggy. It just doesn't respond quickly enough and it's more efficient to do it this way. We put in the route for this trip coming from Burlington, Massachusetts to Fairport, New York. You'll see an immediate problem here. It doesn't deviate beyond your current state of charge. So I'm at uh, probably 70% here, state of charge. And uh, unfortunately, that is what it will take as the base charge, but not plan a route based on having 100%. So if you're planning a route for the future, which you normally will, and you'll be um, fully charged when you set off, this is trying to figure out here uh, an energy plan based on 67%, which is my current state of charge, instead of 100%. And I haven't found an easy way to change that. That may exist, but it, it generally is one of those faff things that should come up at the beginning. You should be easily able to say, I started 100% and off we go. So, so here it's finding me results, um, but it's it's suggesting I stop first of all at uh, Auburn Mall. In uh, That's not too far along the route. It wants me to charge there to get uh, up to 98%. Um, that's, you know, not advisable. <laughs> You're going to spend a lot of money after 80% getting uh, a high state of charge. Um, again, if I could put 100% in here, that wouldn't be uh, showing that. But uh, that's not the best option, even at that mall. There's an Electrify America site at this same place, but it's uh, reckoning on the EVgo site there. So it's going to take longer. It's saying charge to 98%. A bunch of things that you just wouldn't do in... Uh, you know, if you know the car and you know its limits, that's not something you're going to do. The next stop here wants to stop in. Uh, this is a Chevrolet dealership that I've been to before in Albany. Um, so again, it knows there's a Chevrolet dealership there with a fast charger. Great, but uh, that's going to be a 25 kilowatt unit as opposed to a 50 kilowatt or uh, even higher on Electrify America. So that's you know that's going to take a long time. Again, it wants you to charge for two hours plus there to get to 75%. And then the main problem, uh, it did actually find a route this time, which is better, but uh, this casino that it wants to stop at here is gonna be a level two. It's saying charge for five hours, 40 minutes. I mean, two years ago, this may have been the only option, but uh, now they have Electrify America units in, in Herkimer, New York, in Waterloo, New York. Um, and those will serve you on the way to Fairport, as we'll uh, see in the other route planners. So it's just, uh, it did actually come up with a route this time, so at least that's something. But as you'll see in the uh, screenshots I'll put up, it, uh, it really struggled when I planned it from 97% to find anything beyond Albany. So this is already ahead of the game. Uh, nice little feature, it gives you the tip here. Click anywhere along a planned route to get information on speed, elevation, or other assumptions. So to the best of my knowledge, this is the only one that actually gives you elevation will show you where you're going up, where you're going down. There's not too many hills along this route, but right uh, so it goes up to 880 something feet. So there's a little bit to think about as you hit that, especially as you're, you know, once you're going up the hill, you start to see the range decrease and that can really worry people who haven't driven the car too much or haven't experienced elevation changes because that's gonna sap your range. And when you're laser focused on uh, reaching your target charge station, that can really be, uh, that could be range anxiety in itself. So let's uh, let's see what it's predicting here. 3.32 miles per kilowatt hour, that seems ambitious. I think that's something we can change if we want to. But uh, one of the nice things is it gives you the estimated cost, which I'm not sure if that is estimating it based on just the standard charges, presumably, rather than the Pass Plus membership, so it could actually be significantly lower than that if you're on the membership plan. But for the moment, we'll uh, take cost out of the equation because we're not too worried. We just want it there in good time. So it's automatically adjusted to go only with Electrify America, which is great. You know, it's already saying these are the fastest chargers. This is going to cut down your charge duration. And all of these are pretty short. Um, this may be one more stop than I'd like to do. It kind of depends, but I'm fairly impressed with this as an estimate 
on the basis that it hasn't asked us to stop until Albany, which that actually I was thinking better route planner may be too cautious. That might be too optimistic in this case because this is, as I say, 175 miles. Um, that in winter could be pushing it, but as you can see, it's based on this 3.32 miles per kilowatt hour, which what we've seen from driving around in the colder temperatures this week is that we're yeah we're pushing three. Three point one is probably the best we're going to see at highway speeds in sub-zero temperatures. So let's see if we can alter this a little bit and change the reference consumption down to closer to 3.0, we'll say. See if that changes the plan any. I would expect it's going to want us to stop here with that kind of consumption. This is a, um, an EV Go station just off the Mass Pike, and that would be my kind of backup plan if we're running low before we can get into New York State. So we'll replan the route based on this lower consumption, and indeed it wants us to charge here at uh, Lee Service Plaza westbound. So this would mean we don't get out of Massachusetts. This is about 125 miles, and this is another probably another 40, maybe 50 miles. So that is that's fair. That's uh, something you may think. Well, 23%. That's pretty decent amount of charge maybe you could just push on but uh, that's why I'm saying this is it's important to look at this this is actually taking it a bit lower because of the temperature probably so this will be this would be my plan roughly knowing the road would be we want to get to at the very least the westernmost charger in Massachusetts we know this one well we can easily stop off um, the downside to it is it's just a single EV go unit one station 50 kilowatts it is the 125 amp so it's a bit faster, but it's slower than the Electrify America sites here in Chicopee, Massachusetts, and uh, Albany, New York. So ideally, you would get straight to Albany, charge, eat lunch, do pretty much what it says here, but maybe a bit higher, up to about 70%, and uh, then push on. We probably do need, I really think we're going to need a um, Herkimer stop, that's this one here. Uh, because after that it's a couple of hundred miles here from Albany to our final destination so even on a full charge that would not be possible um, without stopping and even with when you stop here if you charge to 80 percent even in Albany you're going to probably get about 140 150 miles out of that so you definitely want to stop at one of these possibly two my ambition would be to in a best case scenario Stop at Albany for lunch, long charge because we're eating, um, go to about 70-80%, stop really briefly in Herkimer, maybe for 10-15 minutes just for a bathroom break as our last uh, thing, and then get all the way to Fairport. Obviously the downside is you kind of, if you don't know the car, you're maybe not going to know what your miles per kilowatt hour will be, you're not going to know, you know, um, exactly how well you're going to do on the efficiency stakes, so that could be a barrier, but it's a really good tool, it's definitely kind of, you know, other than being a little conservative at times, it has everything that you would want in a route planner. So for those of us who have more of a, a feel for our car and uh, kind of know or think we know, let's see, in practice, think we know what we can do um, to stretch out the range and to make alternate plans if we need to eke out a bit more range. Um, as I said, I want my plan ideally to be get from north of Boston to center of Albany uh, to the Electrify America site, uh, 175 miles roughly. Um, and I would like to adjust my driving style to match that. So plug share is where I can kind of figure out, okay, how how am I going to do that? Where am I going to stop? Um, and if I know I want to stop around Albany because I want to eke out 175 miles, I can start to say what's around Albany. Um, plug share has the ratings, obviously. This is a user um, built site essentially you know this would be nothing without the people checking in here and saying I can get my e-tron to pull 145 kilowatts here my sole EV did not charge you know my Bolt EV failed on this uh, this unit number two 
but charge great on unit number five. So these are, you know, this is valuable feedback for me who's going to be coming through this area. I'm not, you know, in it regularly, so I can't check myself. But these people are doing a service here as we will do when we stop in and check in uh, to say, I charged a Bolt TV here, no problem. So did this person, you know, this the week would before. be, again, my, uh, you know, if you're looking to do it yourself, do a bit more DIY. Um, you can click on the map here. That's going to take you through to Google Maps, tell you exactly where this is. I've already got it in here, as you can see. But, uh, you know, then you can start to say, right, directions to here. You can put it in as a, um, uh, a saved location. So that's just saved under EV fast charge for me. And further down here, we also have that EV go site I was talking about. So you can see not too far, but this is right off Interstate 90 at the interstate at the intersection with Interstate 87, whereas this would be the EVgo site would be coming off the interstate, traveling down Route 20 for a little way, and then heading back to the interstate. So there's some drag time on coming off to go to this, and it's a slower charger. So clearly, Electrify America at the moment is the uh, the goal. You know, my plan will hopefully be to jump from Albany to Herkimer, have a rest break here, and then this final stint to Fairport, New York is 141 miles. So if we get to 70, maybe even 80% in um, Herkimer, which again, remember, we're, you know, we're only driving 70 miles from Albany, so that's only going to be about a 20, 25 minute charge probably. Um, we can, we have a backup of Waterloo Electrify America site, but that's a little bit off the interstate. I'm not desperate to go down there to the premium outlets place, so it's probably going to be chock-a-block before Christmas. So if we can, the goal will be to do this Herkimer to Fairport leg um, all in one throw. I think there's a way to do a route plan on this. I should show that as well. We'll do that. So having waffled on about... Um, how to do it yourself. Let's uh, see how the PlugShare Trip Planner, which is relatively new, fares just doing its uh, own thing. So here you go, it's giving you a little bit of information. We'll just simply add in the same details. In depth, a better route planner. You're not going to get quite as much. You can see elevation here, that's useful again. In fact, probably a little bit more useful than, uh, or a little bit more user friendly than um, a better route planner. It doesn't necessarily show you the location, so I can't tell you this big hill. I can guess that's the Berkshires, um, and further along here is closer to Herkimer as you go further along your route, but that's not going to tell you exactly where these things are. I guess you could put waypoints in, and it'll tell you what the waypoint is, but uh, that's going to be a bit of a, a you guess. You have to do a lot of this yourself. So, as you can see, it'll tell you all the stations but it's not going to say where to stop. It's going to tell you what's along your route, which can help in terms of doing what I was doing before and saying, right, well, we could probably get to here. Um, we can definitely get to here. We can probably get to here. And then we need to stop here. It's a cautious word, really, to not count on this, not say this is complete gospel, that you're definitely going to get to this stage. And there's no problem with that um, because this is... Um, you know, it's winter, it doesn't take into account any of that. There's just a an elevation mention, you can say, well, I think the range estimate will be less, but it says here, this circle does not account for pathing, elevation, road, or weather conditions. Please, please plan accordingly. You can say, all right, well, I want to only go to 70 kilowatt stations, and that cuts out, as you can see, um, the EVgo stations, as soon as you punch it up to 70 kilowatts, this is basically only leaving you with Electrify America site. PlugShare is generally the best, in my opinion, to use with your own knowledge of your car. Um, if you don't have that, then certainly a better route planner provides a nice uh, middle ground. I can't really tell you if the other manufacturers have decent uh, software and navigation systems. I would bet they're still not as good as a better route planner and uh, PlugShare. As far as the Chevy app goes, it's just garbage basically there's nothing it doesn't have these stations these key stations that make up the second half of the trip it'll be able to plan you across massachusetts but after that it gets clueless and doesn't know that these key charging stations that have gone in